So when it comes to the Humanist Reports Award for the biggest donkey of 2016, I narrowed it down to four nominees. The first nominee was Donald Trump because uh, he is the president-elect and look at all that he stands for. He has egregious policy positions. He wants to kill the families of ISIS. He wants to repeal Obamacare and put 30 million Americans off of their health insurance. He wants to privatize social, sec social security. And this guy is a greedy oligarch. He conned all of his followers into voting for him. So I had to include him in this list. Now, the second nominee is Hillary Clinton. She ran the worst campaign in American history. She split the Democratic Party, and that division is still there. The wounds haven't healed. She colluded with the DNC to rig the primary against Bernie Sanders. Uh, she snubbed the base, she courted neoconservatives, and she's corrupt. So, because she's responsible for giving us Donald Trump, I had to include her on this list. Now, third, we have Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Do I even need to explain why she's on this list? I don't think I do. Now, fourth and finally, I included the so-called liberal media on this list because even though Republicans like to push the false narrative that the media is liberal and biased against them, really the media is biased in favor of the political establishment. So they're partially responsible for giving us Donald Trump. They killed off Bernie Sanders' campaign in part because they refused to cover him. We also had all the shills in the media for Donald Trump, for Hillary Clinton. So the media, which is supposed to inform us is making us stupider by the day, so I had to include them on this list. So, with that being said, the biggest donkey of the year is Hillary Clinton. Now, I am perfectly okay with this vote. So, with 34%, Hillary Clinton is the biggest donkey of the year. With 27%, uh, the so-called liberal media came in second place. And then we had Debbie Wasserman Schultz in a close third with 26% of the vote. And then Donald Trump came in a distant fourth with only 13% of the vote. I'm okay with Donald Trump not winning this because he's president. We're going to have many opportunities to put him at the top of this list. So I'm perfectly okay with that. Let's let him screw up first and then we'll put him on this list. But for now... You know, I'm fine with this result. I actually slightly disagree with the Humanist Report audience here. I would have put Debbie Wasserman Schultz at the top of this list, only because I think Hillary Clinton just losing is a big enough punishment for her. But I mean, I, I can see why you guys did it. I mean, she ran a terrible campaign, and I blame her for President Trump because she lost to an easily beatable opponent. And it's not like... You know, she was doing this by herself. She had a team that was advising her. She ignored warnings from Bernie Sanders strategists. So, I mean, Hillary Clinton deserves the Donkey of the Year award because she is not a progressive. She divided the, the Democratic Party. And now we have a President Trump because of her. So, uh, you know, I think that this is a reward that she definitely earned. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.